what's up you guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video so today's video as you see by the title is starting the year off right now first things first you gotta eat okay and your girl is hungry um i did already have breakfast i had oatmeal for breakfast right now it is 1 33 so it's definitely lunch time and for my ladies y'all know when it gets to that time of the month so that's how I'm feeling today but I told myself despite how I'm feeling I'm gonna get some work done and so that required me to get up get ready and do this video for y'all today so we're just gonna set aside my feelings <laughs> we're gonna take ibuprofen when you take ibuprofen but y'all we're gonna get to how to start off the year right and so for me right now we gonna start off this video right by getting me something to eat because if I don't eat I know for real i'm gonna get real grumpy and we just do not want that kind of energy in our day today so right now i pulled up to a place called brother ramen and this is a place that i haven't been to in a while and i really get sick and tired of like eating the same foods because we really don't have that many options here like we do but we don't you know if you get it you get it um this is more like ramen if you think like ramen noodles but i'm gonna see if they have just like maybe like a chicken bowl because I don't really know you know if that's what my stomach is gonna want like y'all know how it is where it's very indecisive what you want to eat because you just feel sick and you're just very picky around that time so we're gonna go in here we're gonna see if we find anything if not your girl will go somewhere else really not that big of a deal we just need to get something in the stomach so this is the place course the tree brother roman and we're about to go in here and let's just go see if we can find something to eat <laughs> chicken bowls it's really just ramen which i thought because i've been here before but they do have something like this but i think i'm just gonna get my usual when i come here which is this chicken ramen and it's really good it's like noodles and it comes with eggs and scallions i don't do mushrooms though i am not a mushroom kind of girl so. okay guys you can tell i'm in a different location because we got a green backsplash which i'm not really a fan of but it'll do and can i tell y'all something i had a moment the other day okay have y'all ever realized that this is an actual chicken? Like, the beak and the... Yeah, for me, I guess that bloomed a little bit longer than others. Because, usually, I just look at the, you know, the logo. And, I didn't think anything of it. But yeah, I just had a, a moment, like, while it's actually a chicken. But anywho. So, I got the... Chicken wrap with fries, the chicken wrap meal, and I always get avocado lime ranch. If y'all have not tried this, like seriously, what I mean, like really, really, get on it because this is fine on the salads and on the wraps. So good. So I don't want to eat, and when I finish eating. We are going to get into starting off the year right, what that looks like, what I need to be doing, how can I have that consistency in my life, how do I set those boundaries, self-discipline. So we're going to get into all of that, you guys. look like to start the year off right well first things first you need a planner okay um, you can go to your local Hobby Lobby you can go to a Marshall's 
a Walmart, anywhere that is near you that you can think of that has planners. Um, I actually picked this up in 2022 of last year, towards the end of the year, because I was actually trying to find another 2022 planner, but they didn't have much left because obviously the new year was coming, but I wanted something to continue organizing my rest of the year of last year. So anyways, I picked this up in 2022, and even before it was the new year, I went in here and I decided to write myself like a little note um, of just like bringing in the new year, like just starting the year out with positivity on a right foot. So get a planner if you do not already. And then I also have a couple more journals as well that I write in for my plans and routine and your day-to-day -day life because it can be so hard to balance and juggle it all especially if you have a lot going on you know you may be very busy and you may be a person that likes to try to take mental notes and so it may be difficult for you to really stay focused and stay self-disciplined in the things that you have given yourself and so the next thing after getting your journals and your organizer is to write your goals for the new year. And if there's things that you wanted to achieve last year that you didn't achieve, you can still make that a goal for this year. Some goals are take a little bit more time. So you have short-term goals and then you have long-term goals. And so it's good to, you can categorize the two in different topics short term long term that way you know that okay this is going to have and take a little bit more time so that you don't have the expectation to get it done quicker um, that way you're not getting your hopes up but if you do get it done quicker then you didn't have any expectation on it then it allows you to kind of just embrace that and welcome it in versus already having that expectation on yourself um, so you want to give grace and you want to be patient and you want to give yourself realistic goals and things that you genuinely want to work at. And if this is your first year where you're actually changing your ways and you're, you want to do better and you want to do different, then that is great. I'm proud of you for even acknowledging that. So I have already kind of wrote down some of my goals and I started this last year. And I'm just going to say this even though this is the new year, but you don't have to wait until the new year to start your goals. You don't have to wait until the new year to begin this new journey and to change. I really think it's a great thing to start it the month before the new year. So for me, I started working on some of my goals um, in December. So that way I didn't have to get ready for the new year that I already came prepared. I already came ready because I had already been working on these goals. So now I'm kind of, I already have a rhythm. It's, it's a little bit easy for me rather than the year's already started. I still haven't got my organizer. I'm a bit unorganized and I don't really know where to start. So that way you're just giving yourself a head start um, on the things that you know you want to work on and you can self reflect before that year comes. And so I would recommend that for the end of this year going into 24, which you ain't really gotta worry about that, but that's just a pointer that I would recommend doing because it helped me out. So if you did that, great. You're already doing a great job. If not, that's okay. You can begin each and every day. We have every day that you wake up, you get to make a decision and you get to choose what you want to do with your life. You get to decide what changes you want to see in your life. You get to get to decide if you want to be happy. You get to decide if you want better for yourself. And I think that's the amazing thing about free will and having control. And it's just learning to balance those things. So though I already wrote goals, I am going to sit down and I'm going to look over these and I'm going to add anything that I feel like I need to add and really just make sure that I have everything down that I really want to accomplish this year. And so you guys are going to do that with me. And if you already have your things, I encourage you to do it too while you're watching this. Uh, so I'm going to take the time to do that and y'all are just going to watch like a 
a sped up version of it with some music behind it, you know, make it cute, whatever. Um, so that's what we're about to do. So if you have your journals, go grab them, get you a little snack, get you something to drink, and I'm gonna see you guys back in about maybe 30 seconds or so, and we're gonna talk over it. So let's get it. So now I'm done writing down my goals for the year and while writing it down I just put an S or an L next to it to identify if it was going to be a short term or a long term kind of goal. So now what I'm going to do is I have my planner. I usually like to plan out my week during the weekend so I'm going to sit here and plan out the rest for the next week to come, which is the 23rd through the 29th. So we're gonna sit here and plan that out. Okay, so I just finished up um, organizing the week and so now that I'm done with that I'm about to show y'all the last thing that I do which is on my computer last thing that I do to start the year off right and to get ready for the new year and prosper for the new year you're gonna need a computer for this and what I like to do is go to Canva and create a vision board, y'all. So I'll show y'all step by step. You come here for search your content on Canva and you type in vision board, then you click vision board. That way you kind of already have like the size and they give you templates of like what you really like what you're looking for and so I'll just like skim through here and see like a template that I like um, I did not want to do like horizontal because I hope that's the right horizontal or um, this length only because I wanted it to be on my computer so I decided to go with this first one on the left hand corner but it's totally your preference of whatever you want to do. So I just skim through here and I try to find a vision board as to my interest. I then will pick it and so we can we can like pick this one for instance. And you're gonna hit customize this template. So now you already have the template and they give you so you can click on this and you can delete it right so y'all may be wondering okay how did you find the pictures to be able to make the vision board so then you go to pinterest if you don't have a pinterest account girl what are you doing make one right now 
and I will just like type in here something that I want. So like if my one of my goals were to remain in the gym consistently, which one of them is, um, then I'm just gonna find like I'm just gonna type workout. And I'm gonna find a picture that I like that's appealing. So we can easily mm, actually like so, Okay, so maybe I want to pick this one. And so all I do is when I get to the picture that I want, I just hit, well, I double click on my pad and I hit copy image. Then I go back to whatever template I picked. And then you're going to want to hit paste. So then when you do that, all you literally have to do is drag it over to where you want it and just resize it to that exact size that was already there for you and you just place it like so and so that is how you create your vision board um i just really like the idea of vision board because it gives you a great idea and it gives you visual like yeah you wrote it down but maybe i want to see visually like what i really want to do you know so you have working out here right here you may be running a business so maybe you have that maybe this is just like you're traveling you want to be more at peace maybe you're a photographer so whatever it is that you have goals for this year alone um create a visual vision board and you can even do this like at home crafty like if you have a printer you can print this off and frame it that way you you know you're looking at it every single day but for me what i did um once i got my my vision board which is right here and whenever you're done you can just literally hit the share in the download button and you can download it into your computer you can send it to yourself on your email um i saved it and so now it's my screen so every time i get on my computer i have something to visually look at the goals that i personally have for myself the things that i want to achieve and so that's there for me to look at on a day-to-day -day. so that is how you can create a vision board on canva it really just takes as much time as you want it to take um so you have full range of creativity in that aspect which i really love because i just think that it's really cool to be able to see like visually what you what you want and what you're looking for because you may have a certain aesthetic that you may be trying to go for so let me put you guys back so um So that is, and I, <laughs> y'all, my tripod is actually broke. Um, it was over a candle and it ended up burning it. And so now it's like really flimsy instead of like stuff tough and sturdy. But anyways, so that is the last thing that I do to help me start off the year right and after that of course the next day you want to start working towards those goals and so for me like I mentioned one of my goals is to con remain consistent in the gym I've always loved working out um, you know it can be stress reliever it also keeps you healthy and that was my goal and so if that's a goal that I want to continue working on I have to have consistency I have to have self-discipline and so as soon as you write these down don't have the mindset of while you're writing it down it seems impossible I don't know if I'm even going to be able to reach this don't have negative thoughts to what you want to accomplish because you can achieve anything that you have written down you can achieve anything that you want to achieve it literally just takes your willingness it takes your effort it takes time and it takes sacrifice and every season that you were in takes different commitment sacrifices and changes so 
figure out what season you are in this year. You know, maybe you're looking for a new job. Maybe you want to buy a home. You know, maybe you want to move into your first apartment. Whatever goal that you have, following up would be, okay, if I want a new job, that means I need to be applying. Maybe I need to be applying two times a day. Maybe, you know, if you that's the time that you have. If I want to buy a home or move into an apartment, I need to be looking at listings and seeing what's affordable in my range and putting up money for savings so that I can put down a deposit. So those are things to think about for this year um, and to just work at it day by day. You don't want to overwhelm yourself and get too ahead of yourself trying to multitask multiple things at one time. Give yourself structure um, and that's where balance comes into play because each and every day, you know, you need to be managing these goals. If one of your goals is to save, every time you get it, your check, write down, okay, this is what I have. These are my bills for the month. This is the money that I have left over so I know I can put this up. So you want to manage whatever it is that you have a goal for. If you're working out and you want to lose, let's say, 15 pounds in a month every day or maybe every week for the month. So you have four weeks. You write it down. This week, I weigh 140, okay? Maybe your goal is to be 120. And then next week okay this week i weigh 137 so whatever that is to help you manage it because you don't want just want to write down the goal you want to be reflecting on these goals you want to be looking back on these goals and you want to keep an update um of the goals that you have of your long term and short term and remember like i said i would highlight short-term and your long-term goals that will help you to understand okay this is what I can focus on right now and then once I achieve that I can work on this and then the next and then the next because there's so much you can do within a year there's so many things that can change within a year so that's why I say give yourself something to start with and slowly work at it day by day don't get too far ahead of yourself don't worry about tomorrow tomorrow waits for itself and so also, um, write down the promises that God has spoken to you. If there is things that God has spoken to you, write those things down and continue remembering and looking over the things that the Lord has spoken over you and continue praying over those things, continue speaking life over those things because those things too shall come to pass. And uh, the Lord tells us there is a season and a time for everything and um Whatever the Lord speaks to you directly for this year, whatever he has been speaking, there are things that the Lord will do in your life for that year as well that pertains to the promises that he has directly spoken to you. So remember to remember the things that God has spoken and read over those things if you are a journal, if you write. Um, so that is how... You have a great start to the year and how you have a fulfilling start to the year. Um, you got to put in the work. You know, it's not just this is what I want to do and it just sits there. And then six months later, you open up your journal and you're like, oh, yeah, about that. Whatever you pour into yourself is what you're going to receive. And honestly let this be the year of this of yourself you no longer settle in the areas that you have in the past um reflect you know who is around you because i will say just because you have the goals written down if you do not have the right people around you if you are not putting yourself in the right environments um that is going to affect those goals because you can either have somebody enabling your comfortability which causes you to stay stagnant and delayed or you could have people in your life who are supporting you they're uplifting you they're keeping you accountable they're being honest with you like girl i know this you said this was one of your goals but you've been lacking a little bit so you want to make sure you have people in your life too who can support that and help you get to those goals who are kind of on the same level who have like-minded mindset um who are have some of the same interests that you do so be aware of that as well um it starts 
really on reflecting your entire life, your work life, your relationships, your friendships, family, all of it. So you just have to be willing to do the work and it's possible. I believe in you. This is a new year. Let it be the best year of your life. Let this be the last, let last year be the last year that you doubted yourself. Let this be the year that you take risks. Let this be the year that you believe in yourself. Let this be the year that you prove other people wrong and that you do it for yourself, that you prove yourself wrong. Take time to bet on yourself. Take time to take the risk because you literally miss 100% of the risk that you did not take. And so if you're also have been struggling with being committed and following through with your goals, I did just release a course and I will leave this in the link down below. Um, you can now purchase that. Um, so that's now up and so that'll help you. And what I talk about for, for goals, there's three different modules. One of the modules is self-discipline and then you have standards and boundaries and self-love and they all correspond and it really does go into like becoming who you want to be and knowing who you are going after the things you want to go after staying committed staying consistent um, and so if that's something that you have been wanting to work in and this year you want to see change in I will leave the link down below and you can now purchase that course that would be a benefit to you um, if you are looking for that. So um, that's all that I have for y'all for starting the year off right. Um, and I will say the true key to fulfillment, peace, and happiness is you're going to find it in God. And so if the Lord and you know you wanting to strengthen your relationship with the Lord has been in your heart. I encourage you to seek it. I encourage you to go after it. God is a relationship. He is not religion. And the moment that you continue to pour into him and to seek him and to study and to just read, the Lord will reveal more things in your life and everything will kind of fall like a domino effect. So the, even the goals that you have like in that relationship, those are things that you express to the Lord and the Lord will lead you and guide you to those things and lead you to the things that um, are best for you so that you don't place yourself in a situation that may backtrack you or delay you. Um, the Lord keeps you focused. The Lord reminds you what's straight ahead. The Lord it, it is your restorer. He is your healer. So I really encourage you if that's something that's been on your heart like this year you're like you know what i want to get my relationship back right with god i feel like i have been lacking in that area and i want to you know i just really want to know what peace is i want to know who i am i want to know what my purpose is and you feel lost god is the source he's not the resource he is the source and i'm telling y'all uh, someday i will be able to tell my testimony but um let this year be a great year this year is an amazing year and i pray over everyone who comes across this is helps you in some way shape or form and i believe in you girl i believe in you bro but you know guys be watching the videos too you can do anything that you put your mind to don't let other people's timings in their lives discourage you because you will see a lot of people accomplishing things that you may want to accomplish and that can be discouraging sometimes thinking like wow they did it like when is it going to be my time like I really want to do it so stay focused on you look straight ahead don't look to the right don't look to the left don't worry about what anybody else is doing you have your own timing and I promise you, if you just take a chance on you and you just stay committed and you can't stay consistent for this year, your life will look completely different. You can change things around. You can have whatever you want. Whatever dream you have is not too big. The things that you want to achieve are achievable. You just have to believe in yourself and it starts with you first. So take that shot, take that chance. And I will see you guys in my next video. Um, 
I do a lot of Instagram polls to see which you guys are kind of feeling for videos and so I will do that again to see what you guys want for the next one. I know a lot of people didn't want like an assumptions about me and so I may do that for my next one. If that's what you want to see, let me know. Your girl will do it. We'll kind of do like a little mukbang slash assumptions about me. But anywho, uh, I pray this has helped you, blessed you. I love you guys and I'll see y'all next time.